right, welcome to Packet Tracer Activity 982. Okay, on to page two of the instruction. Can I access uh, host PC PT one A? Desktop. Okay, we need to ping the switch IP address to uh, resolve the IP to MAC address, which is known as ARP. Okay, the uh, PC does not know the MAC address, so we get the timeout during the first ARP request. We didn't, the PC didn't get a reply in time uh, because ARP was doing its thing, so therefore the first ping was lost because there wasn't a reply within, a, within the allotted amount of time. But ARP process was completed in time for uh, successful ping two, three, and four. Let's uh, look at the ARC cache. We see that the ARC did run its course and the ARC table has been populated with the appropriate uh, IP address to MAC address relationship. Okay. Now we can uh, use the telnet command. Type telnet and then the IP address. This is an example of remote administration. So uh, our PC could be in Dallas and the switch could be in New York. And in order for us to manage that switch remotely, the switch will need to be assigned an IP address. And once the switch has an IP address such as this one, we can use Telnet to access the switch. I press the enter key and I need to type password Cisco. And note the prompt here. That's the actual prompt of the switch. We are inside of the switch op the switch's operating system. Right. Okay, uh, we've pretty much uh, completed page two. On to page three. Okay, uh, we're going to use the show MAC address table question mark command. Okay, it doesn't like the question mark. Okay, in this instance, what we could do is just type uh, show MAC address table without the question mark, because the question mark is not supported in the uh, packet tracer. Well, actually, let's see, let's try it again. 
Okay, it is. All right, show MAC address table question mark. And you have to type it uh, verbatim as it is. Show space MAC hyphen address hyphen table space question mark. Okay. And after doing so, you'll see the options. Okay. Which means uh, you could type additional words. We could type show MAC address table dynamic, show MAC address table interfaces, show MAC address table static. Okay. All right, to look at the MAC address table, we could uh, simply type show MAC address table without the options, and we'll see, we, and we see that the switch has learned a MAC address and associated that MAC address with port F0 slash 1. All right, let's use the inspect tool. Okay. We see the MAC address of PCPT1A. It's known by the switch as being associated with F0 slash 1, port F0 slash 1. All right, uh, the command show MAC address table aging time is not supported in Packet Tracer. And we know that's correct because when we uh, type the question mark earlier here, we see that uh, aging time is not an option. Okay, the options are dynamic interfaces static. Right. On this putty window here um, is what's known as our core switch for some of the classrooms. I've tail netted into the switch. The switch is actually on the second floor. I'm in my office on the third floor. But however, I have remote access to the switch that's on the second floor. I'm going to uh, type the show. MAC address table question mark. And remember earlier when I did so on Packet Tracer, we had three options. But in the actual equipment, um, in, in this particular uh, switch, um, there are more than three options. Okay, We see the age and time option is there. Again, uh, that particular command is not supported in Packet Tracer. Packet Tracer is a very good uh, simulation tool, but it can in no way replicate or simulate all the options and features um, available on the actual equipment. Hence, uh, the networking students that uh, um, transition to Net126 will get a chance, well, Net126, Net Net225, Net226 Net will get a chance to uh, uh, explore um, more features within the uh, Cisco devices. Okay. All right, uh, let's look at the MAC address table. Okay. All right, we see some mappings for
switch relays the communication to this core switch. The core switch is again recording the source MAC addresses and associating those MAC addresses to that one particular interface that leads to the other switch. Okay. All right, I see a mapping to port 12 and other mappings to port 12. Again, that indicates that port 12 leads to another switch. Same is true for port 19. Looks like the, the switch that's connected to port 19 is busy. Quite a few MAC addresses learned. And you know, uh, by default, um, Cisco switches retain the uh, MAC address to port mapping for about uh, for 300 seconds or five minutes. All right. Port 17 leads to another switch. Port 23 leads to another switch. All right, let's try the show MAC address table aging time command. All right, we see that the global aging time is 300. Basically, it tells us that the switch is going to retain the MAC address to port relationship mapping for a maximum of 300 seconds, or five minutes. Right, as shown on this in the uh, PuTTY window. By the way, I'm using PuTTY as a terminal, basically using PuTTY to remotely access the switch. All right, we see that the uh, MAC address aging time can have a value of 10 to 1 million seconds. Or we could enter uh, zero to disable the aging process. 